I'm Ben, I'm your tech guy, and today, as an extension from last week's conversation about suspension, we're gonna talk about arguably the most important part of the bike, the tires. Why are they the most important part? Because that is the thing that's keeping you in touch with the ground. Now what we've got here is a cutting edge BMX race bike. Once upon a time, you might think of BMXs as having knobby tires and so forth. We've moved well and truly beyond that. What we've got here is almost a slick tire with a super light sidewall, low tread pattern, and what they actually run in there is around about 65 PSI minimum. You want a nice hard tire to reduce the rolling resistance on the bike like this. The long and the short of it is, you've got to check the sidewall of the tire for the recommended pressure settings. It's a bit of a personal opinion type of a thing, but the engineers design these tires to run at a certain pressure, so try not to muck around with it too much. And what we've got here is a bit more of a family bike. You're going to see a lot more of this sort of stuff out in the trails, on the streets, whatnot. You've probably got one yourself. So with these ones, just a nice light knob tire. They can be swapped in for slicks, all sorts of things, but the long and the short of it is, you want to be running around about 40 PSI. It makes it a fast tire, it helps it roll as the bike turns, and it gives you nice traction. Now, at the other end of the scale, we've got the top shelf race enduro bike. Now, with these, there's a whole plethora of different settings and tires and things we can do. At the moment, this bike's running tubes. Usually, when you set these things up to race, you take the tubes out. Why? It allows you to run much lower pressures. Why do you want to run lower pressures? More traction. So basically, you want to have this bike set up so that there's enough track, uh, pressure in the tyre to not torque when you're jumping. What'll happen is if you hit a jump and the tyre's too flat, the wheel will actually torque off the jump and it'll shoot you wherever you don't want to go. So with these, usually we're running around about 20 to 30 PSI, depending on the course. Now, if you're just riding somewhere like, you know, Listerfield or your basic parks or, or whatnot, you can put a little bit more pressure in the tyre to make it roll a little bit faster. But for something like this, you want to be running between 20 and 25 PSI for its maximum performance. But once again, always check the sidewall of the tyre, see what it says. The engineers spend a lot of time trying to get these things right. So don't slap them in the face and do your own thing. Pump them up to where they're meant to be. 